Hi all, welcome to this video. Today we will be working on how to validate the shadow DEM elements in the browser. Uh, previously I was working on a, one of the projects where I had come across one of the test case where I had to click on a button and uh, I located the elements uh, using a locator strategy uh, and then tried to uh, pass those locators uh, in the CSS selector and try to click on that element. But to my surprise, I was not able to, uh, the test was not able to actually click on the element and I got a no element exception. When I investigated the uh, DOM pay, uh, elements, in the elements tab when I examined the DOM, I found out that uh, the element was based inside the shadow root. Now, what actually is a shadow DOM? Uh, shadow DOM is a functionality that allows the web browser to render DOM elements without putting them into the main document DOM tree. And this cr actually creates a barrier between what the developer and the browser can reach. The developer cannot access the shadow DOM the same way they would with nested elements. While the browser can render and modify that code the same way it would with nested elements. Now, uh, since this shadow root things comes in between, so in that uh, in that way, uh, actually uh, you cannot directly access the elements there so how do you access the elements so let me take you through uh, one of the good examples so writing the selectors finding the selector strategy and everything is fine so because you would be able to like click right click on that element and copy the selectors or copy the x path or you can manually get those elements out but the thing is we need to validate whether those elements are actually working or not and that is a really a tough task in the browser because uh, even when you locate the elements and try to uh, find that those elements in the browser's element tab itself, you will not able to like uh, get to, get into those elements even if the uh, locator is correct. So how do you validate before you put it in the uh, in the test itself whether the element is correct or not? Uh, so let me give you an example in this context. This is the website uh, which we will be using for finding the elements related to the shadow DOM. And as you see, uh, this element, if I click here, the sum text, it is inside the shadow root. You can see the shadow root uh, mentioned here. Now, this shadow root, uh, after the shadow root, we have one tag called span and the class name is wrapper. It has an ID that is shadow content. Now, if I try to like, uh, try to locate this sum text here by using a CSS selector here and let me copy the selector and and find the element here so you see even if the elect selector is correct like we have the id and the span mentioned here uh, still this is not located on the on the window because uh, it has the shadow element shadow root thing in between now this element would work fine in case of uh, selenium scripts but we will have to use that get shadow root method in between to actually uh, navigate to the child element of the shadow root. Now, how do we validate this kind of elements in the browser itself? So for that, you just need to click, uh, click the escape key, press the escape key, and you will see the console tab coming up here. Now you want, we just need to put in a, a command here called document dot query selector. And here we'll start with this shadow root because we want to navigate to this ID first. And then based on this ID, we will uh, query the rest of the shadow root here. So what do we do here is we pass in the uh, ID called shadow host. And then again, we'll pass a method called shadow root. But here we need to pass in as a id so we will be using the hash here before the shadow root because it's an id here and then shadow root dot query selector now this is the final stage where we want to locate the uh, the, the shadow element here so the shadow element uh, locator for this it would be uh, the id shadow root and inside this id there's a span tag which actually has the some text value here. So what we'll do is we'll put a hash. Hash is for the ID shadow underscore content. And then the span. But still, 
uh, nothing is printed here like it shows value as info we actually want the value as some text here so what we can do is you can right click here open that properties tab and uh, scroll down a bit to find out the text content here so we need to click on this tag here first and you see the text content here is mentioned as some text so to locate this thing uh, to validate the that the locator that we took is correct or not we can use this text text content here dot text content and you'll see the values some text coming out correctly that means if you use the selector uh, so first we find the child selector called shadow host with id shadow host and then by after getting the shadow root we use the selector hash shadow content and then uh, using the child tag called span and then getting the text of this we will actually be able to print the value called some text in the um, uh, in the selenium script and ideally you can like if you want to assert also you can write the query in selenium like driver dot find element bytes dot css selector uh, this would be the value there hash shadow content dot shadow content then the span and then dot get text uh, more of this kind of test is available in the selenium repository that i have already uploaded on the github you can find it in the comment section i have provided the link as well as i have written one blog also to uh, automate the shadow elements using selenium you can check out for that blog as well uh, the other part here is if you want to check out for a nested element which is a shadow root nested element so now if you see this nested element this text here it is actually inside the nested shadow root here so how do we find so it's the same way you can like uh, call the shadow root then again shadow root so instead of doing the text content here what we will do is we'll just find the query selector then again we will do a kind of shadow root dot dot query selector and then inside this so it's not the shadow content here the id is nested shadow host so we'll update it here and then put the value as dot shadow root dot sorry query selector and then the query selector for this is like nested shadow root and inside it it is nested text so that's a div tag here so ideally we can write the value as hash nested underscore shadow underscore content and then dot text content this gives the value as nested output so uh, in our case in the automated test we need to find the first parameter which is the first field which would be the parent field called with id shadow host and in based on this uh, locator we will need to find the shadow root we need to call the get shadow root method and then find the nested shadow host element after that again we need to call upon the get shadow root and then finally the id for getting the text content like shadow nested shadow content and then dot get text in the selenium script and it would eventually print the nested text here so this is how you validate your queries within the browser for the shadow root elements hope uh, it was a useful video for you uh, if you find it useful please do share like and comment on the uh, on the comments in the section below as well as i'll provided some links to the blogs as well as my uh, github repository where the automation selenium script for shadow root element have been mentioned please do check out that as well thank you so much bye